internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. Make sure you got your sound turned up so everybody can hear exactly what's going on. And guess what? We've got somebody here that's from the Minneapolis area, because that's where I'm from. And she's over on uh, South Minneapolis side. And her name is Andrea, but I don't, but how do, is it, how do you say the Bowie. last Bowie. Bowie. Like David I'm Bowie? Bowie. <laughs> okay, kind of like David Bowie, but not spelt that way. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, how long have you lived in Minneapolis? Not very long, right? Yeah, I've only been here about a year. Before that, I was out in um, Montana and Washington. So Big sky country, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's where I grew up. It's my hometown. Love it. <laughs> yeah, I've been out there in that general area, and it is kind of amazing. You just kind of look and forever and ever and ever and ever. There's just space. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. What made you come to Minneapolis? Um, I got a job offer from my brother-in-law, and so I was working down in St. Cloud for a little bit, doing social media for him. Oh, cool. And doing some before and after pictures for his company and that sort of thing. That's right, because you're a, so. a, you're a photographer is what I say sometimes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so do you, you got family here other than your brother-in-law? Um, I, just my sister. I have a couple cousins around here as well. Okay, good. So, yeah. It's good, because it's, it's kind of a challenge sometimes when you go to a place you don't know anybody. and. <laughs> Yes, it is for sure. For sure. So tell us a little bit about your photography. Um, yeah. You know, photography is kind of yes. a common thing and everybody's doing it now. But uh, it Absolutely. actually, there's an actual art to it to actually know, I mean, not to toot your horn or anything, but some people, they don't understand how to capture an image properly right. in the right background. Like there's somebody doing one of those, what do they call them, photo bombs or something in the back yes. and you didn't notice it. <laughs> Yeah. So with photography, I mean, yeah, there, you, you always get those lucky shots, right? You can obviously don't, I don't discount an iPhone at all ever. I mean, those iPhones have so many pixels now. They have more pixels in them than some of the beginning um, cameras used to. So I don't discount those pictures at all. Those are great pictures. You can actually blow some of those pictures up and they look fantastic. But as far as being a photographer nowadays, um, to be honest, I think the biggest part is the connection with the people. You have to make that connection sure. with them. And that's what you're selling yourself on is the connection. And I am a big believer of basically shooting for, um, I tend to specialize in women mm -hmm. because obviously I am and I can relate very well to them. Um, but I shoot women photography basically and I love specializing even more so in curvy girls, um, you know, because I'm a, I'm a curvy girl and I feel like the world needs to see more of that. So the, the, the connection of people, I think a lot of people don't get that. Or some people just like you, with the phones, you can just click them with the cameras. You can adjust stuff and lighting and darkness and right. all this kind of stuff. And you have to have an eye for it, but you're right. The connection with the person, because I've been with photographers that are just taking pictures and then, you know, when I'm done, it's like, and that's not me. <laughs> they right. didn't capture Absolutely. me. They caught me in it. So that's really important that you actually connect that way. And it's cool. I think yeah. it's really smart for you as far as a business thing to find a niche. Because in my mm -hmm. opinion, the way that it used to be was broadcasting. Now it's narrow casting. So you focusing yeah. on women, curvy women specifically, it's it's much easier to find that market or that that prospective customer than just saying I take pictures well so does everybody <laughs> right. right absolutely everybody does now so you specialize so, yeah. and you, I guess also you mentioned that you're a curvy woman so you know what it's what it's like for a curvy woman to have themselves photographed so you can again relate to what they're talking about yeah for sure right, cool. for sure so where do you do your work do you have a, a studio here yet or you kind of yes. go out to there do you yeah, I have oh, cool. a studio in the Northeast Arts District. Um, it's a phenomenal space. It's about 1,800 square feet. Um, it's in the old Grain Belt Brewing Bottling Company. Sure, building. cool. I'll, we'll have to stop there when they have that little, what do they call it? The, is Art it the Art, Art, Art of World? World? Yeah. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Busy, so yeah. yeah. Cause it's one of the main stops. And, um, I actually rent out my space as well to other photographers if they need to, or other businesses that need like just a meeting area or anything like that really? as well. So yeah. It's well, that's really space. good to know because I'm from the events industry and event planners are always looking for a unique space and heck with you. If you could come as an event photographer and That'd be pretty yep. cool to be able to just do it right there. So I'll keep that in mind when someone says, do you know yeah. of any space in Northeast? Well, now I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a great space. I love it. Um, you know, maybe we might want to do some strategizing on Art of World. It's always good to know the future. And because Art of World's yes. coming, maybe there's something we could start collaborating on so you can make yourself more prominent and sort of get a kickstart here in the Twin Cities. That could be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So... You have your own studio. Do you actually go on location then too? Do you go out to someone else's place? I do. Place? Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. I love, you know, I started off with like landscape photography because I was too intimidated to shoot people, you know, photograph people, um, you know, to ask those people, can I photograph you? You know, that was kind of intimidating. So I, sh I started off with landscape and I love being outside nature. I grew up on a farm, so okay. I'm yeah, I love being outside, that sort of thing. And I love finding new places to shoot around town and stuff like that all the time. So, yeah. Well, these days with the phones and the selfies, nobody asks permission anyways. So. <laughs> it, it's true. It's true. It's, you don't ever anymore. It's kind of wrong. Yeah. I didn't want to be photographed. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm not wearing <laughs> Pretty makeup. much. <laughs> okay. You always ask for, for forgiveness later on, right? <laughs> Instead of permission. <laughs> Seems that way, but they just take pictures yeah. wherever. Um. So yeah. before I ask my favorite question, I don't like to do these too long. I like to just introduce people. And then later on, if you want to do yep. one more specific, we could do some specific. And, and I also do some stuff with Facebook boosts. So we'd be able to do like a live event and then that okay. can get posted or boosted. So if you want we could target. I'm sure okay. if you, you looked in there, you could find curvy women that can be targeted in right. Facebook. So right. we exactly. could do some of that synergy. So before I ask my favorite question, why don't you share how to get a hold of you and maybe elaborate more on the types of programs that you might offer or, the, sure. or, or types sure. of styles and things? Absolutely. So my website is andreabowie.com. It's A-N-D-R-E-A-B-A-U-E.com. Um, I specialize mainly in women's portraiture. I also do boudoir. I'll do senior girls. Um, and then, you know, I, I do do men as well. I'll, I'll photograph men as well. It's not nothing against men or anything. I just don't have a lot in my portfolio at the <laughs> they, moment. They just have to wear They have to dress up. Right. Yeah. They have to wear the tool in the, in the sequence for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> what a drag. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, so I specialize in mainly women's portraiture and, you know, it's all about making that woman feel great. And at the end, if they, if she wants like a family portrait or something like that done, we'll have the family come in like the last half hour. And so then she'll get her family portrait, but the husband doesn't have to be waiting around forever for it. We get it done quick and fast. Well, that's a, that's an interesting approach. So how long have you been doing photography in general? About four years, seriously. Really? Well, yeah. it seems like you really got some systems down and you know how to make it so it's not a burden for people. I'm an education junkie. I, I am constantly learning, always learning. And Sounds so, like, that's like yeah. my wife. She, she used to be a Spanish teacher at the University of Minnesota, and now she's a life and business coach and she just gobbles up information constantly yeah yeah always gotta try gotta learn so here's the big why question my favorite question to ask is the big why why are you doing this why aren't you like a kindergarten teacher or a hairdresser or a oh i don't know a professional paratrooper why did you right. choose photography <laughs> that's funny because i actually was an ed i was a teacher i was an elementary um teacher and to be honest um it's just my passion. It's my passion to help women. I want every woman to have a beautiful picture that they love of themselves. Plain and simple. Um, <laughs> as I'm going to get teary eyed because it, it touches me so much. Um, for me, to be honest, it's just like, I finally have one picture that I love of myself. And social media nowadays is so hard on women. Right. So well, I just, it's good I want them to give them... <laughs> that opportunity to have a picture that they love. Well, that's why you're good at what you're doing because you're connected it with some internal passionate purpose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's good. You got teary at that. That's why I do these <laughs> like this. It's, it's real genuine and authentic. And it's, uh, as I say often, it's not some 15 year old kid from Sri Lanka screwing on the internet, pretending True. you're there there. It's really you. You're here in Minneapolis and yeah. now people get to know, like, trust and respect you. Right. 
So I wanted to throw another little thing out and then we can sign this off. But um, there was a guy, I, I lived in Asheville, North Carolina for a while. And this is off topic, but maybe we could, I always like to throw out ideas and stuff. Um, he did two different types of events. They were photography tours where he'd walk around town and teach people how to shoot photography with, a, with an iPhone. Yep. And then the, what that led into was that was a front end for a uh, um, retreat he did over in, uh, I think it was in Italy or something like that, taking pictures of architecture. Oh, how cool. So I think That's you could go out and do a little thing like this. Bring your iPhone. We're going we're gonna to fo photograph curvy women and have a good old time, a ladies' night out on town. And then we're going to do a retreat, and all of us curvy women are going to go out on a blah, blah, blah. So right. if that's something that, that trips your trigger or something, I'd be interested in collaborating with you on it and strategizing and masterminding and stuff like that. That would be like incredible. Do... Yeah, that's a great idea. Fantastic I like live idea. It was pretty smart with him because it, Asheville is a tourist town, and people are looking, well, what should we do? Well, let's go out and right. take pictures of architecture. That would be fun. So you could tie it in with curvy women in architecture, curvy women in front of architecture. Absolutely. Because Minneapolis some has got some beautiful cool stuff. cool architecture around yeah. Minneapolis for sure. But see, that ties it in with something that's broad that people are appealed to, have it appealing to. Or you could do like nature, you know, pictures of uh, right. in nature spots. But you find right. something that's broad and then something that's niched like curvy women. Yeah, that's and you, really you, cool. You synergize that and you get some magic happening. All together, mix it all together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stay on, we can chat a little bit further, but I'm going to sign this one off and put it in the can, as they say, and then beam it up to the cosmos to let people awesome. find it. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Peace. Okay.